Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So if you are using Microsoft's PC Manager optimizing tool for Windows 10 and Windows 11, then just to let you know about a new preview section that's become available in the settings of the app. Now if we head down to settings, here you'll see, if we scroll down, we've got a new PC Manager preview experience. And the description reads, try new features before they release and give feedback. Join the PC Manager Preview Experience program to explore innovative features before they are officially launched and help us improve PC Manager. You can leave the preview program at any time. So this is what it looked like before I signed up. So you will see, start now and then you can log into Microsoft account to register for the PC Manager Preview Experience. So obviously to register for this new feature, you have to log in with your Microsoft account. So it is optional. And then if we head back to the app, you can leave the program at any time, which I think is nice. You've got that choice. And this is going to be interesting because I have signed in. I've been signed in now for a couple of hours when I first saw it early this morning. And although I have signed in and enrolled for the PC Manager preview experience. I'm still not seeing any new little features that are available and um, that Microsoft is pushing out with that preview experience. But uh, nonetheless, just making you aware that if you are using the app and want to get your hands on some new features before they make their way to the stable release and to the general public, then you can sign up. Obviously, you have to sign in with a Microsoft account. And if you're not happy to do that, then you can just ignore it. And it seems to be running out on a controlled rollout because I'm only seeing this on my Windows 11 device and not my Windows 10. But I have noticed with PC Manager, it does roll out at different times in different regions when little upgrades and updates are made available. And the latest version for this to be featured is 3.17.2.0. And that was made available and through and with an update from the Microsoft Store today in my part of the world. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.